RPG a day. Number five. Why will they like this game? Um, okay, and that's uh, pertaining to whatever you suggested in the uh, first instance. Um, depending on what game, okay, well, we'll pretend it's this one. Um, it depends. <laughs> yeah. You know what game you're you, you um you're playing? Uh, it's got to be a combination of what everybody wants to play. So, why, why, <laughs> why would they want to? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So why will they like this game? It's because it's what they want to play. Um, but um, it's like I say, it's got to be the combination of all the players. Uh, saying yes this is what they want to do and uh, the game master um, has to want to uh, run the uh, game itself so I mean that's why uh, I find a lot of GMs out there have a vast collection of different kinds of games kind of uh, spread their horizon to uh, uh, grasp uh, ideas from each one you can take ideas from say this game here throw it into your D&D game in some sort of respect and or vice versa you, know, you can throw some D&D stuff into this one what whatever it is um, you can take stuff from uh, DCC throw it in different things as well you can take a Traveler game, throw some stuff in Traveler into this, or some of this into Traveler, whatever. And that's the that's the neat thing about um, uh, having a collection of different cool things. So, um, there's even, yeah, there's even stuff like this you can throw in there too, you know? So, it's, uh, it's entirely your prerogative. So why why will they like the game is because it's what they want to play it's kind of a weird question uh but uh the game master's presentation of it has to uh come into effect there too uh so um it depends how you present it you i mean a game master could love a particular game say this one and the players are like, uh, you know, why would we want to play that? And, you know, you'd have to say, well, you know, because, you know, you guys are playing mercenaries that are uh, combating different corporations and stuff like that. And if that's what they're, you know, into, or they could be explorers and doing this, you know, you don't have to stay with one kind of um, adventure stuff type uh so it depends on the uh you know even in D, &D you could have you know if, if the players are like yeah we want to play pirates in D, &D. okay uh, i can be done oh no we want to explore new worlds on land you know travel across you know a desert and encounter all kinds of weird things okay that can be done or it could be oh no we want to go ahead and and uh you know, play in a mega dungeon or something like that you know a big labyrinth of all kinds of weird stuff you know ruled by some sort of mad undead wizard or something like that okay that can be done too um so the aspect of where you put this game system into play um yeah that that will definitely you know drive your players into wanting to play so um don't expect to pull out a book and think it's going to be just a one idea kind of i th uh, kind of thing so um you know if you're playing like for instance uh infinity here um i mean you could be uh you know you could be people on board a, sh a ship that's doing trade and that's that's the idea here you're you're trading amongst amongst the stars 
uh, or the systems in this case that could be done or it could be a military campaign maybe you're doing that so you have you know the big uh, mechanized uh, units and stuff like that and and you could be portraying a, a war that's going on on one of the planets like Paradiso or something like that um, it's it's entirely up to you what kind of aspect that you're getting into in each system um, even Traveler. Traveler, you could have all kinds of different uh, things. You could, you could, uh, I mean, you could go with the John Carter of Mars kind of thing with uh, with Traveler. You can go with, um, uh, you know, you could have primitive, you know, you could have a low primitive style game and it could be played out just like d and D in uh, in Traveler if you wanted to. You're just rolling uh, two six-sided dice instead. You know, you you don't have to keep, you know, you don't have to have d20s for every fantasy game out there. You, it's whatever system that works for uh, for what you're uh, wanting to play. And that's the thing is, you know, maybe instead of thinking of okay, what what uh, what system should we play? Just think, um, maybe you should ask your players, okay, what kind of a game do you want to get into and, and it was, they may say oh okay we want to play uh space pirates or something so you could decide well maybe traveler maybe this maybe some other system um just pick the right right uh, system for the for the uh, game that you're going to present so um that's uh that's that's how you get them to like whatever it is that uh, you know. It's got to be a good, a good fit. Um, a lot of generic stuff like like Traveler. Traveler is very generic uh, because you can you can spread it amongst you know from uh, primitive style. You could you could probably introduce a, a little bit of magic in there, like psionics, that sort of thing. You could even you know. Uh, meld in a little bit of the uh, uh, Cepheus, um, sort of Cepheus in there and have some uh, spells and stuff like that for the wizard types and stuff. Yeah, you know, it's it's entirely up to you or you can homebrew the whole damn thing. Um, Cypher, Cypher system, same thing, very generic. You can, you can cipher a sci-fi game, you can cipher a... a uh, you know, a modern game, you can cipher a uh, a D and D kind of game. It's all super easy in that one as well. Um, so sometimes you want to you want to gravitate to a more generic system in order to spread the like around the table because you, your players are going to be like, you know, one's going to like sci-fi more than fantasy, one's going to like fantasy more than sci-fi, and uh, and depending on their fluctuations of feelings at the time, uh, like maybe I don't feel like running a sci-fi game. I don't want to run a, a, a fantasy game. So it's uh, entirely up to you uh, and your players. Uh, so whatever the spur of the moment idea is, sometimes it's better to go with a generic system instead of something like this. Sure, you can play. You can play a fantasy game with two D twenty. Yeah, there's there's Conan and stuff like that. So, it, I mean, you could just you know, modify the rules to the with the two D twenty Conan in there, and it still kind of works. A few differences in between the two D twenty systems and how the uh, the, like the doom tokens and stuff like that work but uh you know it, you can make it work um that's about all i have to say about that it's uh that's kind of a really kind of a weird uh question for uh rpg a day but i guess that's kind of my take on it if you can call it that so anyways talk to you guys later